Maralea's Bible Stories, Book 1, Creation of the World, from Midrash and the Teachings of Chassidus, with guidance from Rabbi Manus Friedman, written by Leah Erso, illustrated by Linda Stein. I am the Lord your God. I have always been, and I always will be. I looked into the Torah, and I used its words and letters to create the world. You may wonder, why did I create the world? In the beginning there was only me, and I was all alone. Something was missing. I wanted to share myself with someone else, a special people who would be mine and be close to me. My people would need a place to live, so I put together the letters of the Torah, and with my words I made a world for them. In the beginning, when I created the heavens and the earth, everything was covered with water, and the earth was in darkness, unformed and empty. Like a mother bird, I hovered above the darkness in the deep. It would take me six days to complete the world. Yom Echad On the first day I said, Let there be light. So there was light and I saw that it was good. This first light was so strong that you could see it from one side of the world to the other. I separated the light from the darkness and I called out to the light, you will be day, and to the darkness, you will be night. And there was evening and there was morning one day. Here is a secret. You can see a glimmer of this special light on Hanukkah when you light your menorah. Yom Sheni. On the second day I said, Let there be a separation in the midst of the waters. I placed a separation between waters and waters. Some waters stayed down and covered the earth. Some waters went up and became the sky and the heavens, and I called them Shemayim. On this day I filled the world with angels to fly back and forth from heaven to earth so that every living thing, every leaf, every blade of grass would have its own little angel whispering, Grow, grow big and strong. And there was evening and there was morning a second day. Secret The sky and the heavens are both called Shemayim so that when you look up, you will think of me. Yom Shlishi On the third day, I commanded the waters below to gather together and make the dry land appear. The waters gathered into seas and rivers which shaped the earth into mountains and valleys. I saw that it was good. I said, Let the earth be covered with grass and fruit trees. The grass grew and made seeds, and the earth brought forth plants and trees with every kind of fruit. I made a beautiful garden with rivers flowing out from it, and I called it Gan Eden. The trees and plants were waiting for rain, but no rain fell. I was waiting for the person that I would make to ask for rain. I looked at my world, and I saw that it was good, and there was evening and there was morning a third day. Secret. A river from heaven flows into Gan Eden. Four rivers flow out from the garden to water the world. Yom Revi'i. On the fourth day I proclaimed, There shall be two great lights set in the heavens to shine upon the earth, a sun to rule over the day and a moon to rule over the night. I made the sun and the moon the same size, but the moon complained, Two rulers cannot share the same crown. Since the moon complained, I made the moon smaller than the sun. This made the moon feel sad, so I put stars in the heavens to keep her company. I counted every star, and I gave each one a name. Then I told the moon, You will be a sign. My people will look at you to know when to begin their months and when to celebrate their holidays and festivals. I was pleased with my luminaries, and I saw that it was good. The angels sang their holy praises, Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. 
evening, then morning, a fourth day. Secret. At the end of days, in the world to come, the moon will again be as big as the sun. Yom Chamishi. On the fifth day, I created fish and birds. I said, The water shall be filled with living creatures, and birds shall fly in the sky. I filled the waters with great sea giants, the Leviathan, and fish of all colors, and sea creatures of all kinds, and I filled the heavens with every kind of winged fowl. I blessed all my creatures to be fruitful and multiply so that there would be more and more fish and birds. I saw that it was good. Evening, then morning, a fifth day. Secret. My Torah is filled with knowledge just as the sea is filled with fish. Yom Hashishi. On the sixth day, I told the earth to bring forth the land animals, the beasts of the fields, the wild animals of the forest, creepy creatures, and the giant dinosaurs. The animals came forth from the earth and I saw that it was good. I had created a beautiful world, but still I was alone. The most important work was yet to be done. My reason for creating the world. I turned to the angels and said, Let us make a person who can choose what to do, just as I choose what to do. A person who will help me take care of the world and be the father and mother of all people to come. The angels in heaven, like the animals on earth, did not really understand me or see my plans. So I made a person who would understand me and help me. I made the person both man and woman together in one body, and I said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Every baby you make will bring down a new soul from heaven. Fill the earth and rule over the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, and all my creatures. On the sixth day, I looked at all that I had created, and I saw that it was very good. Shabbos, the seventh day. My work was done. In six days, I created the heavens and the earth, and on Shabbos, the seventh day, I rested from my work. I blessed the Shabbos and made it a holy day, my special day, a day of rest. Some day I would give Shabbos to the children of Israel to be their special day of rest too. Shabbos, the seventh day, my holy day of rest. Now I will tell you more about how I made the first person. Before coming into the world, the person was a neshama, a soul, a spark of life that was a little part of me. I chose the greatest of all the souls in heaven. The Neshama was like my daughter, and I gave her an important job. I am sending you down to the lowest world that I have made to make it a better and more holy place, a home where I can dwell and be close to you. This is your job. It hurt me to send away the little Neshama, but I knew that she would someday help to create a home for me, a holy temple in Jerusalem. I gathered the damp dust of the earth like clay and shaped it into a body of a man and a woman together. Then, from deep inside myself, I blew the neshama, the soul of life, into the nose of the person who woke up and became a living being. This was the first person, Adam, and he was perfect. He was called Adam since he was made of Adama, earth. I made Adam to be like me, in my image, kind and beautiful, and able to think for himself and make his own choices. Now I had a partner and a friend. I placed Adam in Gan Eden to work and guard the garden. Adam asked me to bless the earth with rain. So at last I brought down the rain from heaven and everything began to sprout and grow. Thick grass covered the land and the trees grew tall. I said, the more you give to others, the more I will bless the earth with rain. 
I brought the animals to Adam in the garden so that he could give them Hebrew names. The angels were surprised to see how great a human could be. Adam knew just what to name each animal. Adam saw that the lion was the king of beasts, so he named it Aryeh from the letters of my name. He knew the donkey should be called Chamor of the earth. The dog he named Kalev from the word Kulolev, which means all heart, for dogs are loyal to their masters. Each animal had its own mate, but Adam was alone. I said, It is not good to be alone. I will make a helpmate for him. This is how I made a helpmate for Adam. I put him into a deep sleep. I split his neshama in two and took the woman part from the side of Adam's body. I built and shaped the woman. I braided her hair and adorned her with jewels and then I brought the woman to Adam to be his bride. When Adam awoke, he knew that he was now an Ish, a man. So Adam called his bride Isha, woman, since she was built from a part of him. I dressed Adam and his bride in light, and I blessed them under the chuppah. The angels came to the wedding singing sweet melodies, and the sun, the moon, and the stars all danced. We know that Adam and his wife did not live in Gan Eden forever. If you want to know the rest of the story, read the whole book, Creation of the World, available at itsgoodtoknow.org.